These OLED TVs carry the latest generation OLED EX panel that's brighter yet more resilient to burn-in, a heatsink to clear away image retention in a quicker manner. Next generation Ambilight that's even more detailed and precise, as well as a Bowers & Wilkins sound system which traditionally delivers class-leading audio clarity among in-TV speakers. Say hello to two new Philips OLED Plus televisions launched by TP Vision in Berlin. Firstly, the OLED Plus 937 which is equipped with a physically separated Bowers & Wilkins speaker bar, and secondly, the OLED Plus 907 which features an integrated BMW soundbar directly below the OLED screen. Here's a quick comparison table listing the key differences between the two models, but let's start with the OLED Plus 937. It's available in two screen sizes, namely 65 inches and 77 inches, and the larger version will be the first 77 inch OLED from Philips to be blessed with premium Bowers & Wilkins audio. The BMW speaker bar has been upgraded compared to that implemented on last year's Philips OLED Plus 936. The iconic Twitter on top design remains in place, but in addition to front firing and up firing speakers, a pair of side firing drivers have been added to the left and right sides of the speaker bar, amounting to a 5.1.2 channel system. The Bowers & Wilkins speaker enclosure also forms an integrated part of the TV's tabletop stand, and has been described by Philips as a sound base, among other things. Coming back to the picture quality side of things, both the 65-inch and the 77-inch OLED Plus 937 will be equipped with an OLED EX panel and a heatsink, therefore going up directly against the LG G2 and the Panasonic LZ2000 which also use such a combination. Based on our testing, OLED TVs with heatsink generally can clear away image retention in a faster manner than OLEDs without heatsink and so should embolden manufacturers to drive the OLED panel harder to achieve even higher peak brightness for a more impactful HDR presentation. TP Vision Philips has traditionally been one of the more aggressive OLED brands in terms of pushing for higher peak brightness, although with more anti screen measures which are sometimes undefeatable. So I'm interested to measure just how bright the OLED Plus 937 will be once I get my hands on a review sample in due course. Just like on last year's 936, four HDMI connections are provided on the Philips 937, of which two ports, namely HDMI 1 and HDMI 2, support the full HDMI 2.1 bandwidth of 48 gigabits per second. This strongly suggests that the OLED Plus 937 is still going to be using a MediaTek chipset similar to that implemented on Philips 2021 and 2022 HDMI 2.1 televisions. Just a heads up for those of you wanting to enjoy full 4K 120Hz resolution when playing games on the PS5, the Xbox Series X, or a PC with HDMI 2.1 graphics card. Because the Philips OLED Plus 937 features a dual-chip picture processing engine which prioritizes image quality, the coprocessor unfortunately cannot pass 4K resolution at 120 frames per second, an issue which also affected last year's OLED Plus 936. If you absolutely need full 4K 120Hz resolution when gaming, the Philips OLED Plus 907 might be a better choice, since it's single-chip solution marketed as the 6th generation of P5 AI picture engine, that's a mouthful, has no problem passing full res 4K 120Hz video signal through its two HDMI 2.1 ports. The Philips 907 comes in three screen sizes, 48, 55 and 65 inches. All three sizes will get the latest generation OLED EX panel, but only the larger 55 inch and 65 inch models will have a heatsink installed to disperse image retention faster allowing for higher peak brightness without increasing the risk of OLED burn-in. The design of the Philips 907 harks back to the Philips 903, which is of course the first collaboration between TP Vision and Bowers and & Wilkins. The speaker bar is attached to the bottom of the OLED panel, clothed by a new quadrat fabric that's even more acoustically transparent. A center channel has been added to the existing left and right, which, together with a subwoofer embedded within the back cover, delivers 3.1 channel sound. The TV is supported on a central, low-profile stand with an impressively small footprint, 
and can even be swiveled up to 15 degrees courtesy of a stability bar at the rear. Otherwise, both the Philips 907 and 937 support HDR10, HLG, HDR10 Plus Adaptive, Dolby Vision, Filmmaker Mode, IMAX Enhanced, Dolby Atmos, DTS PlayFi, and Android 11 Smart TV platform. In terms of VRR formats, the OLED Plus 907 and 937 boast FreeSync Premium and G-Sync compatible certifications, while also supporting the open standard HDMI Forum VRR. Both TVs ship with a premium, backlit remote whose sides and back are covered in sustainably sourced mirror-head leather. And of course, we cannot end this video without talking about Ambilight, which is a key USB of Philips televisions. The Ambilight integrated BIOS lighting technology has undergone some improvements on the OLED Plus 937 and OLED Plus 907, allowing for not only more precise control of the individual LEDs instead of in clusters of three, but also a wider color palette, so the Ambilight halo surrounding the screen will look even more refined and detailed when switching colors in sync with the picture. The Philips 907 will be equipped with this next-generation Ambilight along the top and the sides of the television, which is marketed as 3-sided Ambilight Plus, whereas the step-up OLED Plus 937 will carry 4-sided Ambilight Plus to provide the most immersive integrated bias lighting experience yet. This video is sponsored by Box, the online technology store. Visit box.co.uk for the best deals on TVs, soundbars and all your other technology needs. New on the 907 and 937, there's a VRR shadow enhancer setting which seeks to counteract the raised blacks in VRR mode. Philips has also improved its dynamic tone mapping that can analyze the content frame by frame to reduce highlight clipping without sacrificing overall brightness. Between the two ranges, I'm personally more excited by the Philips OLED Plus 937 which should deliver superior picture and sound and also comes in a larger 77-inch screen size, although hardcore gamers may prefer the OLED Plus 907 for its full 4K 120Hz resolution. Now, some of you may be worried about higher peak brightness increasing the risk of OLED burn-in, but I recently interviewed panel supplier LG Display in South Korea, who explained in great detail why this won't happen with the latest generation of OLED EX panels. To learn more about the technical benefits of OLED EX directly from the horse's mouth, please click here to watch my full interview with LG Display. You have to skip to 222, past my coverage on transparent OLEDs.